to the ends of the earth for you. Make you happy, make your dreams come true. To make you feel my love. There's nothing that I wouldn't do. To make you feel my love. We will have a presenter come in, a photographer, or some sort of vendor. So we welcome you in and we thank you for coming. Some of them. Delaware County fairs. Delaware County, right? Yeah, they're different fairs. Okay. So after many years of photographing um, my local area, I started to see there's a lot of beauty in what was hidden. And in an old burnt house, you can see the beauty looking through the old window or an old couple that are still in love after, I don't know, 50, 60 years of being together. Um, did you say you're also working on graphic design? Yeah. Okay. Are you a high school student? College. Okay. At Binghamton University. Okay. And when are you going to graduate? Uh, this semester. Okay. May. Do you have any plans? Um, I'm going to stay around here. Uh huh. Hopefully find some job. Us to ship them, but instead of shipping them, I just drive them down to Corny and I'd find pictures like this and I'd have take pictures that would be worth ten times more than anything that I could have, you know, just just delivering, you know. Yeah, I saw a story about a couple who um, lost their jobs and they used to make a lot of money and they lost their jobs and they started delivering newspapers for a local newspaper and they used that time delivering the papers to take pictures, photos yeah, yeah. of the countryside yeah. and they became very well known photographers from their... That's kind of, I, I decided a long time ago that I was going to be the Finger Lakes photographer and now I have thousands of images and, and, uh, and I am kind of the Finger Lakes photographer, you know, I, Doing it for so long, you know. The finger licks photographer. You're gonna send me that, I hope, are you? Sure. Would you? Okay. Yeah. Finger licks photography. Info at fingerlicksphotography.com. going well so far? So far it's going very well. Okay. Um, and I, you know, and I think this is a place, American City is known for bringing people to different cultures together. And I think this is the way to start. So instead of having this, this street looking dead at night on the first Friday when everybody's out there, why not open the door? So that's basically what we're doing. So we're reaching out to people, we're reaching, you know, we, um, we're providing support. And people come in here, they mingle, they laugh, they listen to music, they pray together, they laugh together, they cry together. This is life is a life is picture. So I guess if you want to get down to like brass tacks and how it actually all came about, um, we were in the middle of we had a, a worship service at our at our church, and um, 
and the Lord spoke to me and showed me a building in the city, people getting healed, people getting prayed for, and people coming in with uh, wants and different needs and needs in their body and stuff. Um, and I, I literally saw people walking out of the building that they had broken legs and they were healed, um, broken backs and they were healed. And so what we what we've done um, is we started with a uh, with a healing service, basically. It's like a, they call it a praise and worship service, you know. And uh, then what we did was that was December and January, first Fridays. And then for February, we got together with a couple people, and uh, they were wondering if we could do a um, like a this, like this family night. And uh, so I, I came in here. I came and talked with Myra here. And uh, Myra said, "What about doing a family night?" And so I was like, "We have like we had like two weeks to put it together." And so uh, Aaron here, his wife Samantha and him, they do our vacation Bible school at our church. And so I was like, "Well, I know just the people." So we got a hold of Samantha and Aaron. They put together like all the games and stuff that you see here. Um, and this is the second this is the second time we've done it. Okay. Um, so, but from six to eight, we do a family fun night and from 8 to 10 we do music and we have a we have really just a music service and if people have needs if they have wants if they want prayer then they can if they want to receive Jesus they can if they want to um, talk we can talk um, yeah my name is Chris Garenzi I'm the senior pastor of United with Christ Church and we're located at 1025 Robinson Hill Road in Johnson City uh, it's the old Sportsplex uh, building, and uh, so we've been there about 11, almost 12 years now. But uh, as a church, we've been doing various outreaches and, and ways to help and bless the community. So uh, this outreach we're doing here uh, at the American Civic Association for um, making it a fun night for family and, and children um, is a one way we can serve the community, helping people to uh, be able to make new friendships and family and kids meeting new people. And then also um, when they're here, um, all the events are free. There's food and, and different goodies and drinks and things that the kids can do. But there's all these games and uh, that they can play. And the little kids, uh, especially like right now in the middle of uh, kind of winter, spring period, uh, almost spring, that uh, there's not a lot of things to do. And so it gives them an event that they can uh, get involved with. So um, also, then the people, anybody who comes, they're very welcome to join us uh, at the church anytime. We have services on Wednesday nights at 6.30 at the church and also at 10 a.m. in the morning. So but bring your kids, bring your friends, come on down, everybody's welcome. There's, uh, there's no limit to who is welcome, everybody's welcome to be a part of it. So please come and join us. Uh, first Friday here is United with Christ Church on 1025 Robinson Hill Road in Johnson City. Um, we took over the old IBM Racquetball Club, and uh, we one of the one of the biggest reasons that we wanted to come down here. We have uh, the the different um, the di different places like Magic Paintbrush and stuff like that that are around. Um, but we just wanted to offer something to the community that they can bring their kids out to, families out to, um, and a different um, create a venue for people that. Uh, they want to they want to bring their kids to um, offering games and prizes and snacks and the different things that go along with it so it's open to to all faith okay. uh, we're planning to do we're planning also to do something with the Muslim community we haven't done to yet but we plan to reach the right people to come in and speak in memories of those that lost their life, of friends and students. Um, so, um, I've been here for seven years and I just got promoted six months ago to the director of American Civic. So it has been kind of a long transition, but it's, it's all for the good of the community. Because uh, I'm trying to bring another aspect of the civic center that is what we do here, how we work with the community. <laughs> You brought me gifts and I would receive. You made me food and I would eat. You provided me comfort and I would sleep. 
You gave me a home, you poured the concrete. And every day I made you feel like less of a human being. When we met, you were starting to get back on your feet. Now you're just teething. And for you, my heart is leaking. I want to go back and fix things, but I know that it would end up with you in a psych ward and me at the liquor store and everyone else, and someone else's face would be, be beaten. Now keep that precious smile and stop hurting yourself every weekend. If this world lost you, all of the ice caps would melt and all the people would run for cover, but there would be nowhere to keep them. Um, the Cookie Fairy is one of the characters from the New York Fairy Fests. I do, I hand out cookies and words of wisdom. So it's, or fruit for those who are gluten intolerant. So it's words of wisdom with cookie. One of the things I would say to you, because no two people are the same, you strive really hard to find where you fit in in this world. You're a really deep thinker, right? And you're always trying to find your specific piece of the puzzle. And what I'm always saying to people like you and other people is we are greater than the sum of our achievements and of our actions. As a cameraman, as a photographer, when you take that camera every day, you're actually looking to find a piece of the person's soul through that camera. But actually, you usually find yourself in other people. Yeah, it is, you're right, but it's also down this way somewhere. So I'm just curious what building it's on, you know? Because mm -hmm. it's high. I don't think it's that there's a church right over here on this side of the bridge, but it's, it's, it's too far this way, you know? Pretty to be able to tell. Dreams come true to make you feel my love.